it's quite obvious that our food is travelling further and further and further, both inside countries like the UK, where, for example, supermarket lorries are moving between farmers, distribution points, and then retailers, and also in terms of international travel, with food moving across uh, international boundaries by ship and by aircraft. And some of this movement is quite unnecessary because, for example, in the case of apples, we can produce them here in the UK, but we're bringing them from literally the other side of the world, from Chile, from China and South Africa, and that is contributing to climate change. As far as we are having the farms, most of our farmers have little or less than two acres of farm, where the farmer has to put all his efforts in his own farm, with his own family, where there is, there is no any machine, no any kind of tool that is emitting the carbon in the air, so it is so hard to understand about the carbon emission in the air. Uh, basically, with uh, a big sector like that, and uh, when we're dealing with import from a relatively poor country like this, any small impact of such a big uh, sector has a very big social impact. You can imagine the number of employees who are employed, not only by the big farms, even by the small scale farmers, uh, the people who are employed to harvest the, 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 the French beans, for example. There are very many. So if as the, the, the industry is, is affected, even in a very small way, the impact of the crowd will be much, much bigger. The export market for smallholder farmers, especially in the veg subsector, is very important because most of the veg that is grown in Kenya is not a Kenya, does not have a consumer market in Kenya and in Africa in general. So um, the veg they are growing, like green beans mainly, is a commodity that is specifically for the European market. And if you look at whether they've got other products which they can be able to grow and kind of be able to reach the same kind of economic empowerment, it's not there because coffee for them is almost dead. So it's lack of options for the smallholders and they need to sustain their families, they need to eat. They need to take their children to school. So this kind of business, this kind of market for them is rife.
Well, these issues have become more and more important to consumers over the past few years. If we look at the sales of organic food in the UK over the past five years, these have more than doubled. And I think consumers' concerns really come from a variety of different areas. For example, chemicals in food, um, different food crises such as BSE and bird flu. And it really just has raised awareness in consumers. Um, also, if we look at seasonal and locally produced food, these are another two really important areas for consumers that there's now a lot of growing awareness.